today i'm going to show you how you can trigger your jobs automatically in jenkins until now we had been manually running all our jobs but in a continuous integration or a continuous delivery environment you will require to uh, trigger your jobs automatically whenever there is a code change from any developer right so that is the whole purpose of a continuous integration tool like jenkins it helps you uh, automate every process uh, your every process of your development life cycle so let's see uh, we are going to uh, stick to our hello world example uh, when we set up this job right so we are going to see what configuration changes are required in order to uh, trigger our jobs automatically so we already have a github repository configured for this job and uh, i'm going to now change some of the configuration so pay attention so i'm going to select a, a github project right um, we require the project url so let's go uh, to our to our project url so this is our github project url i'm going to paste it here then um, source code management will remain the same yeah so this is the most important part the build triggers now we can use uh, all these three options github branches pull requests but i'm going to choose uh, the github hook trigger for git sm polling right so what it says uh, if jenkins will receive a push hook from repo uh, defined in git scm it will trigger uh, the polling logic right so it is going to trigger a job rest of the configuration will remain the same so go ahead and save this now uh, what we need to do is we need to go to our github repository we need to set a web hook right so so that uh, our github repository is hooked to our jenkins job right but how do we do that because our jenkins instance is running on a local local server uh, it is not running on a web url right uh, or a web server so i can't pass any url to this so first let's see where we can um, add the webhook so you can go to the settings for your project under that you will find webhooks uh, clicking on that you will see uh, the hooks are present here right so now as i was saying uh, there is a problem because we are running our jenkins on a local instance i cannot pass the local instance here it it, it will not work because it requires a http url uh, where it can find the jenkins instance so to solve this problem uh, we there is a temporary solution we can use uh, a tool like ngrock which exposes local servers to the public internet over secure tunnels right so i'm going to um, expose my local server 8080 so that i can get a public internet a uh, public url http or https url uh, for my jenkins instance which i can add into the webhook right so setting this uh, ng rock is pretty simple uh, you can go to the download section uh, you can download the executable for any of your uh, operating system so for me it is windows and uh, once you download it just unzip the file and you will get the executable right so i already have it in my downloads folder uh, so if you can see here is my ngrock.exe right so to verify you can just type ngrock version and it will show you the version right now in order to expose my uh, http localhost so you can type ngrock http a0 a0 right now it is going to forward uh, it is getting going to create a url and forward my local host to that right so these are the two urls http and https um, i can go ahead and copy this and you can go back to the webhooks page uh, you can either add a new webhook but i already have one so i'll just try to edit this now payload url should be uh, in the form of this url like the first part is your url and then um, the github webhook right so this will hook your jenkins instance to the github repository 
content type should be uh, application xww form url encoded you can choose uh, ssl verification if you want but i will leave it as it is uh, you can also choose uh, an event type as the push event but i am using send me everything i am going to update the webhook so it's so it's now updated right yeah so it seems to be working but we will check now um, i want to see whether any change to my project will actually trigger a build in jenkins automatically right so we have nine builds currently you will see the 10th build running uh, in some time right so let's go uh, to our project i'm going to change something here so um message is not hello world and hello world users so some change i'm going to change this so now i'm going to go to my git and i'm going to commit this change so i'm going to add my commits uh, i'll commit this change clean up and then i am going to push this commit right so git push will push this commit so my push is changed to my github repository and now let's see if it is going to trigger a build in our jenkins right so you can see the 10th build is it is uh, now yeah it is now starting up so let's see what is going on here on the console output as you can see it is now running my job right it has triggered a build automatically in my jenkins without any manual intervention so whenever when i changed some code and pushed the code into my repository it triggered a build in jenkins so that's how uh, you can automate your build process you can enable um, jenkins to automatically trigger builds whenever there is a commit or a push to your repository so i hope you learned something new today right uh, if you have any comments please uh, get back to me and i will surely respond back